Oh, it's hot. It's supposed to be the hottest day in Florida today. Mmm. Hey guys, it's your girl Sam Manuel. Welcome to my car or welcome back to my car. Today I want to show you how to do something really important and that is installing a decal. Now I thought of many ways of how to film this video but I don't have friends so I can't have someone shoot it for me. I had to improvise. We're gonna install on this window inside of the car. That's that's the best I got, honestly. Uh sorry. I sorry, I sorry, I sorry, I sorry, I sorry, hell no. The more important part is what I'm gonna show you. I'm sure some of you already know how to install a decal, but sometimes the little intricate parts can get caught there are little tips and tricks that i could show you when installing a decal that could help you could could save you i have my decal here i went with a peter pan decal that i made a while back as you can see it's masked oddly i didn't get to show you guys a lot of different masking techniques because my the last decal i made was was simple the masking tape was large enough to fit over um, the vinyl that we cut so we didn't have problems like like this but when your masking tape is too small uh, For your for your design sometimes you have to layer the tapes over and it works the same But it just it's it's uglier in appearance So when you are double masking or masking over it like this uh, It's best if you're not giving it to a client and you're just using it for your own personal use that's just a professional opinion. You have your decal, and we're just gonna peel it from the paper back. So you have this waxy piece that, it, that the vinyl sticks to. You're just gonna peel it off and make sure, make sure all your pieces stick. Now, some of, some of these little letters, like these little inserts, you see the E, that might, cause a problem so you have to go slow when peeling back but also you know don't be scared if your masking job was good enough then everything should peel perfectly and you should be left with just you should be left with just this masking with your vinyl on it so it should look like this. You could toss this piece of paper, it's fucking useless. Anyway, make sure no dirt touches it, make sure nothing gets on this back. You have to be ready to install it somewhere. So what you're gonna... I'm gonna place this down in a clean spot and I'm gonna t t tell you a few things about when going to install on whatever area you have to be sure that that area is clean like free of dust free of dirt free of anything that's not clean it has to be clean if it's not clean your decal is gonna get dirt underneath it possibility could have little bumps and air bubbles that you don't want and that, that's a problem because it's not looking as sleek and slick as you want it to. What we have here is um, some diluted uh, glass cleaner from Dollar Tree. I put some water in it because it's the cleaner by itself is really harsh. Um, and then I have a ton of paper towels. A ton of paper towels. Necessary. Cleaner paper towels to install your decal wherever you're installing it. So... I guess I'll install it right here, since you guys, since you'll be able to see better. You're gonna take a paper towel, just spray your, you know how to clean. I don't have to fucking tell you how to clean. If I have to tell you how to clean something, that's, that's a problem. That's another video.
you don't have to be crazy about cleaning it just make sure that the spot is like nice make sure you have a nice clean spot and like i said this is just some glass cleaner from dollar tree you don't have to get wild with windex it's just a brand name take your your decal you're going to place it on your your window your glass your your whatever area you're putting it on but you're gonna do it neatly this one's small so it's easy it's like a little car decal we can just start at the top press down like this and then this is where your little decal press comes in handy you're just gonna lay it on top and then just press down now for demonstration purposes it doesn't have to be perfect press the decal into the window or surface that you're applying do the decal to you want to start peeling off the masking from the decal. Now this is a delicate process, especially if you have small little letters in there that, that might stick. This is where also your little thing will come in handy. You could always bring it back and press as long as you're delicate about it, as long as you're careful about it. Use the utmost care and just use your brain, honestly. Uh, decals aren't difficult, but um, you know, for someone who's never done it before, maybe it is start pulling slowly we pressed enough so that it should definitely stick on there it should definitely be stuck on there we could just go ahead and pull the masking off don't go fast don't be aggressive don't go fast go slow you might have to press your vinyl down a little if it does pop up it could happen with um larger decals as well but this is small so we shouldn't have too much of a problem like it was to get a little together like married so easier be careful and confident when pulling that's what she said i am a lost boy from neverland something you guys probably can't notice about this decal is right down here there there's like a little bit of bubbles they, they wouldn't bother most people, but they bother me. So what we're, how we're going to fix that is by using our little decal press. And we're just going to buff those bubbles out. Sometimes, you could, if, a, if a bubble is too big, you can get away with poking it with your X-Acto knife, letting the air out, and then just creasing it out, like popping the bubble out. So... I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put the decal on, but unfortunately all good things come to an end and the decal must come off. If you have a decal that's been on for quite some time, uh, chances are it's stuck on there really good. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your solution and you're going to attack it. You're going to take your solution and attack the decal that's been on there for a while with it uh, just to soak it in. It makes it and use your, your decal press to make it come up. You're going to play with it. It's going to take a lot of it's going to take a lot of work to get an old decal off, but it does come off eventually. With this, if your decal is fairly new and not a thousand years old, you could just probably pick at it and it'll come off. See how it's coming off? But what gets left behind are these little... Uh, these little circles. It's when you could just and they come right off. Look at that. Sometimes residue is left behind from the decal, which is fine. That's great. As long as you get it off, what you can do is take your solution, which I told you is just window cleaner from Dollar Tree and some water. It's diluted because I think it's, it smells really harsh. Take another set of paper towels and spray your paper towel and just wipe that shit off like it was never there. Like my feelings. 
All right, well, that's all I got for you guys today. It's really hot today, the hottest day in Florida today. Uh, so I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside and enjoy some nice cool air, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you. Bye.